This week we have the incredible privilege to read Parshas Ekev. And in this parsha, the Torah tells us as follows. This is in Parakhas Pasak Yotas, chapter 8, verse 19. The Pasik says, Vahayo im shahoach Like much of Dvarim, Moshe Rabbeinu foreshadows what is going to occur in the future when he is no longer here. And unfortunately, one of the recurring themes is that when Moshe Rabbeinu is no longer here to lead us and to shepherd us, we go astray. The truth is, we went astray even when Moshe Rabbeinu was leading us. Even Moshe Rabbeinu was alive. Allah has come all the more so without the presence of the great prophet, without the presence of our great teacher, Moshe Rabbeinu. Unfortunately, Moshe tells us we will be led astray. So in this Pasuk, chapter 8, verse 19, the Pasuk is describing such a scenario. And it'll be that you will forget Hashem, or if you forget Hashem, you will unfortunately follow all our gods, you will worship them, you will bow down to them, and HaKadosh Baruch says, I promise you, it's not going to work. You see, so many times in life, we run after other things because we think they're going to bring us happiness. We think they're going to bring us fulfillment. We think they're going to fill a void. And then we find out we're wrong. Most of I'm going to save you the trouble. I'm going to save you the trouble. You're going to want to run after other gods. You're going to want, want to run after other lifestyles. You're going to want to run after other ideologies because they're appealing to you. They sound wonderful. Perhaps they're a bit more modern, a bit more cutting edge. But I promise you, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Moshe Rabbeinu says, it's not going to work. You just run yourself into the ground and you have nothing to show for it. A theme that is echoed over and over and over. Moshe Rabbeinu telling us, you're going to go astray because you think you're going to find something at the other end of this journey that's going to complete you. You're going to find that you're wrong. You've fractured the relationship with Hashem. You fractured the relationship with yourself. But of course, there's always a happy ending. And the happy ending is whenever you're ready to come home, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is always ready to have you. But the great Tzadik Rabbi Yisrael of Rizhin says something absolutely amazing. The Rizhin writes, and I want to quote you, he picks up in the word Vahaya. Quotes the Gemar Meseches Megillah. That the word Vahaya, and it will be, always is a word that foreshadows Simcha, joy, happiness. But what is that doing in this Pasuk? This Pasuk speaks about the Jew forsaking God. This Pasuk speaks about the Jew leaving God. And yet the introduction is Vahaya im Shachoachtish Vahaya, a lashon of simcha, a lashon of happiness. Happiness! The Pasik is talking about forgetting God. The Pasik is talking about following after other gods. The Pasik is talking about the fact that when we choose these alien ideas, ideologies, and lifestyles, Avo Tobi Dun, we are lost. We become lost physically, we become lost spiritually, emotionally. And yet this entire subject is introduced with the word Vahaya, simcha. And the Rishon writes something absolutely amazing. He says, you have to read the Pasuk a little bit differently. V'haya im shachoach. If you forget the v'haya in life, if you forget to be besimcha, if you forget to find joy in tishkach lismoach, if you forget how to be happy and you lose yourself in sadness, you will forget Hashem, your God. All depends where you place the karma. If you forget your haya, you forget your happiness in life. You will forget the ribono shel olam, your God. Because in shechina shore elamitoch simcha. The shechina, the divine presence, rests upon us only if we are in a state of joy, in a state of happiness. And the words of the Rishon are, are so incredibly important. You know, people like to say, happiness is elusive. It all depends how you define happiness. You see, for some people, happiness is a state of being which occurs after you have everything you want in life, after everything exactly falls into place, after everything is exactly as it should be. When life has followed your plan, when you've made the amount of money you want, you're married to the person you want, you have the kids that you want, the career that you want, the ruchnios, you learned enough mesechdes, ah, then I'm happy. Anytime you hinge your happiness on a string of events which have to occur materialize in a certain way, you'll never be happy. Because at the end of the day, life never goes according to plan. Halavai, life often goes, there's a plan that's even better than the one we had in mind. But sometimes it's better, sometimes it doesn't feel better, and sometimes it's just different. The religion is teaching us that happiness is a choice. 
A person makes a choice, should I be besimcha? What does it mean to a choice to be besimcha? What if my circumstances are difficult? So first of all, even in the midst of all difficult circumstances, there's always light, there's always goodness, there's always bracha, there's always opportunities for growth, there's always opportunities for chesed, there's always opportunities for connection. A person has to make a choice to be besimcha. Simcha is a choice, happiness is a choice. It's a disposition you choose. And you know, as you see this in the world, there are some people who have everything, yet they're miserable. There are some people who have nothing, yet they're always filled with such joy, such happiness. So obviously, the equation that dictates, that tells us, if you have everything, you're happy, is not true. Plenty of rich, successful people who are abysmally, chronically unhappy. And plenty of people with incredible challenges who have unbridled joy in life. Because happiness is a choice. Every day you have to make a choice. Do you want to put a smile on your face? Every day you have to make a choice. Do you want to be besimcha? Every single day you have to make a choice. Do you want to see the good or do you want to see the bad? Do you want to see the light or do you want to see the darkness? Is the glass half full or is it half empty? That's the decision we each make in life. But understand, the ramifications of that decision are not only for your own outlook or for yourself, but they directly impact your relationship with Hashem. Because if you don't have simcha, you can't really feel all that great about God. Because on any given day, there's stuff in my life that's not going well. On any given day, there are things that I've asked for that I feel God has not come through on. So again, do you look at the things you have, has given you, or are you one of those people who just always, why? Why? Why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? I, you don't ask why about all the things you do have. I don't ask why about all of the brachas, but yet the things that I lack, those pose major theological crises for me. When you choose to live a life without simcha, it doesn't only impact your own outlook, but it impacts your relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It impacts your relationship with other people. And of course, it impacts your relationship with yourself. This says the originer is the deeper meaning of this pasuk. If you forget the mandate to be besimcha, to find joy, to make a choice to be happy in life, you will forget yourself, you will forget your blessings, and you will ultimately come to forget God. May we be to find the courage to make the right decisions in life, to choose to be happy, to choose to be simcha. To not put our happiness on hold until we get everything we want, how we want it, when we want it. But to choose to see the beauty in everyday life. To choose to see the beautiful brachas, the beautiful blessing that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has given us. To choose to be happy. And if we do so, we will solidify our relationship with our fellow human beings. Solidify our relationship with ourselves. But most of all, solidify and create a beautiful, loving relationship with the Ribbon Shalom. Wishing everyone a good and Erev Shabbos and a beautiful Shabbos Kodesh.